had a good question today in the Storyline Forum where a course developer had created a quiz and on the results slide he added the option to print results. But the issue was when the user printed the results on some of his questions, the actual question text was showing up, like what we see here for the first question on this example. And that's what he wanted, right? He wanted the question text to appear in that column. But for other questions, it would just say true, false, or whatever question type that question happened to be. It didn't show the actual text of the question. So he was like, why is this happening? Well, here's why. When the printed results are created, Storyline grabs the question text from a placeholder on the slide. So by default, question slides always have this placeholder and um, that's where the you know the question text ends up and if that placeholder is empty or if it's been deleted there's really no text to grab for this report so the name of the question type shows up on the report instead and that's why his report was saying true false you know for some of the questions let me just show you a quick example I've got two slides here um, here's my first one and here's my second one they look pretty similar but the difference is on this first slide the question text up here at the top is actually contained within a special placeholder. It's a special text box on my slide that Storyline creates. And here's how it gets created if we open up our question editor here. Um, when you create the question and you enter some text in this field, and then you hit save and close and go back to your slide, this is a special placeholder that is used for that question text. So that's how Storyline knows that's your question text and that's what that's what should be reported when you print a report or when you publish to LMS. Um, and this placeholder actually comes from the slide master. On the second question here, the text at the top is actually just something that I inserted. It looks a lot like the other text box that we looked at, the special one, but this is just something I created. I went up to insert text box, I drew a text box on my slide, and I just you know, started typing some text in it and sized it and positioned it where I wanted it. Um, the only problem with that is Storyline doesn't have any way of knowing that that is you know, the actual question text that I want reported on my printed results. In fact, if I click on this uh, edit button up here above my trigger panel, we'll see that on the question editor, this top field up here is actually blank. So maybe what happened was in the course of creating your slides, maybe there was some text here at one time, you know, and you went back to the slide and started making some edits and changes and customizations. And perhaps the placeholder, you know, maybe got deleted or, you know, you just ended up inserting a plain old regular text box for the question instead and making it look the way you want. But here's what you can do to correct that. If you click on the edit button above the trigger panel, you can you know, go to this field here and just enter the question text here that you want to appear on your report. And then when you hit save and close, it will show up here on the slide. Now you might need to reformat it or move it around or make it look a little bit different, but this is that special placeholder that Storyline is gonna use to grab that question text. And of course you wouldn't need this one anymore. You could get rid of the, the manually inserted one and then you know do whatever you need to do to make this one look, you know different or like it matches the others. So um, that's all you have to do. Let's go ahead and publish this and we'll see what our output looks like and make sure that it generates the kind of report that we want. So here is our project. We'll just answer those two questions. And then when we get to the results slide, here's our printed results. We'll go ahead and print them. And then now when we look at the question column, we're seeing the question text for the first question shows up like we expected and then here's what we entered as the text for our second question. It's no longer saying true false anymore. Now it's going to pick up the actual text that we entered.